First thing to mention here, remember the last time I was here, I complained about this song being lazy because it was reused exactly from Awakening? If you keep listening to this song, you'll find out that's not entirely the case. And I kind of like what I've done with this. But anyway, today we're going to be doing the Anna on the Run DLC, mainly for a few reasons. Firstly, now it's basically the, well, it's a kind of a breather, the sort of calm before the storm. So doing a bit of a breather episode now before we go on to the really big, epic, two-parter kind of makes sense okay the part of the song is going to come up now did you hear that that's a bit of lost in thoughts all alone which obviously was not an awakening this is actually kind of interesting in the awakening version of this song they play a little riff from don't speak her name there which is the recurring riff from awakening you hear a few notes of that melody in just about every single awakening song they replaced it with the recurring riff from fates the one you hear a few notes of in almost every single fate song so i like how they did that actually but anyway, so other reason why I'm doing this is that if I do this any later, Anna's going to be pretty much next to useless, though that is kind of a recurring trend at this point in the game. Thing is, I, in some ways, I'm really only doing this because you guys want me to. Uh, I do plan on doing Hidden Truths and Before Awakening later, but Anna on the Run was a DLC that I never really considered all that much. I don't really want to pay just real money for a character I'm probably not going to use, but anyway, I hope it's an alright chapter. So anyway, all the DLC that you see here except for Boo Camp, this is the DLC that I plan on showing later, so just a bit of a sneak peek. All of this DLC, as well as maybe the Scramble Festival episodes if they ever get released, any DLC that you don't see on this list, I'm sorry, but I have no plans for recording. I just, there's there's some that I'm not really all that interested in, but anyway, let's go to this chapter. Let's just hope my party can handle this. Time for Xenolog, Anna on the run. Overall, though, I am a little annoyed that they made hey, a... Bro. And these two are back, before we've actually seen them in the main story. I am a little annoyed that they made a full playable character who's part of the support library paid DLC. Awakening didn't do that, which... So, yeah. But anyway... Not a chance. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, I'd also like to take this time to mention that this is the character whose name is my middle name. Hmm. Closest thing to a Fire Emblem namesake I have, and it's that guy, yeah. You know, I just wondering, can you capture these guys in this chapter? Uh huh. <laughs> They're all using these phrases wrong, I think. <laughs> and there she is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these two are clearly the worst pirates we've ever heard of. Yep. I oh, Shandy Pete's mentioned again. So, uh, this is actually kind of funny. I never really realized this before, but Shanty Pete is a recurring character in the Fire Emblem series, even though you never actually see him. He's mentioned in, I believe, Path of Radiance, Shadow Dragon, and Awakening. Uh, Awakening a few times in supports, Path of Radiance and Shadow Dragon, he's name dropped by a few pirate bosses. So, there's a bit of weird continuity with this pirate legend. Uh oh. So here come all of the um, identical siblings and Tom. <laughs> so they seem to have pulled all of the bandit twins from all of the universes to gang up on the. That's kind of a nice callback though, because yeah, like Anna, the bandit twins are a recurring archetype in the series who have tons of identical siblings throughout all the different universes, so. They have pulled a lot of them out of different universes. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're here and have no idea what's going on. Yes, a band of thieves that all look identical. What was that? 
A cornering someone who's also a member of a family that all looks identical. Um, um, uh, and from the looks of things, this is the same map as when we recruited Anna back in Awakening. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> right. Yes. Yes, let's hope we can save her, I guess. So what do we got here? We have difference here are these stairs. They actually did go to the trouble of giving them the names. I didn't think they'd do that. <laughs> What the heck is that Berserker's Axe? Lowers wielder's H maximum HP by th Oh, wow. It's powerful, though. They all have Lock Touch, too, but... There are no chests here, and... Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Oh, she's level 17. Okay, then. I thought she's... Maybe she only gets recruited at level 10. So, sh her level does scale a bit, and I'm guessing that arm scroll is what used to be in that chest. And she's got, make a killing, obtain gold when this unit attacks and defeats a foe. Okay, so it's essentially the, uh, Profiteer, but with a different name. Throwing club... Huh. Good fortune. I'm actually not sure whether you can capture these guys in this chapter. Might as well try bringing Orochi to sea. I'm just kind of worried about Anna, though. I really hope that she can survive before we get to her. It's another reason why I'm doing this at this point, but... <laughs> I love how they actually went to the trouble of giving all of these guys those... Oh, that's why they have lock types, these doors. Of actually giving them those names. That's actually pretty amazing. Ah, Kamui is not compulsory in this one. That's actually kind of good. I was hoping for that. Anyway, who to bring here? I might want to try and bring some people whose supports I'm focusing on. So, Rinko and Keaton, supports I don't actually have unlocked yet. So, let's see. Uh, hmm. Maybe I could bring you two. I don't know if I've actually supported those two yet. Wow, you're actually kind of inferior compared to Nyx, except for your, uh, yeah. Anyway, we should probably bring some sword users, too. Uh, I guess we need to work on Baruka and Silas, technically? And one more. Uh, Hana's a little frail. Because, yeah, we have a ton of axes here. And we just, I just realized we don't have a healer out of this party. Maybe I should actually not bring Carden. Because I would like a healer here. And, uh... Would also kind of like a decent... <coughs> Although if I'm bringing Elise, I should probably bring Takumi now that I think about it. Because I'm working on their support too, actually. Though, getting them supports up is going to be tricky before she promotes... Okay, I was worried about that. Silas, you need some swords. You can use a silver sword too, which is awesome. And... Uh, okay. Benny needs better lances. Grab that. And uh, you need better axes. You also need better axes. Um, why does Saka have an iron club? I have no idea. Why do you have a leaven sword? You picked it up from village, I believe. Uh, nope, we're not starting yet. And we do have a lot of these guys. We need to be careful of dual strikes, though. They've all got quite a lot of HP, too. And I just realized that these two... Do we have a dual Nakinata at all? I don't think we do. That's unfortunate. Okay, 
Okay, so you'll go there. We also need to... Probably also need to be semi-rushing forwards. This map kind of takes me back, though. Okay, pair you up. So, and why do you have a door key and you also have lock touch? Anyway, I guess let's go. Round all enemies, leave Anna alive. Okay, she's already running. When Anna's actual flee, she cycles through the stairways one after the next. Okay, good. So she does get hit by one guy here, though. And we have the same music as we had back in the Awakening version of this chapter. Okay, so let's... Do we know where this stairway leads? We can't check them like the ones we could in the sanctuary. Let me just check something. No capture command, so we can't capture these guys. Good to know. Now this is probably going to end badly. Or not. Except that doesn't actually one round you. And at least it's not here, so... Actually, not being able to critical here might be an advantage. Because that way I won't have to worry about them getting attacked by two bandit twins in the same turn. Oh, I've also heard that every character has a unique line for entering combat in this chapter, so that I'm kind of looking forward to. We do need to watch out for getting attacked by multiple of these guys at the same time. And you're not equipping any weapon, let's fix that. Should probably send my more defensive characters up to center. Uh, yeah, that will put you in range of lots of things, unless I can Takumi that guy this turn. I can't quite test that theory yet. Which is unfortunate. I can't Takumi that guy this turn. She does still have a free stuff. Oh yeah, you have a door key, but you should not be able to reach Elise on the same turn that you open that. Oh, I've heard there's a bit of... <laughs> Sorry, there's a bit of a running joke about Takumi and his retainers and igloos in this chapter. <laughs> so for some reason, Takumi sees this chapter as a reason to recount stories about igloos from his childhood for some reason. Guess bringing Orochi here was semi-pointless, but oh well. Okay, come at us, bros, literally. And please miss, thank you. Oh, the, the battle backgrounds here look so much more detailed than they did in Awakening, though. <laughs> Probably. No dying on me. I just realised, because all these enemies are promoted, this chapter's going to be a massive treasure trove of experience. Okay, I'm glad that missed as well. I don't like your critical raid. <laughs> yes, it does if you're trying to assassinate a specific target. Which might have been exactly what these guys were going for all along. And yeah, ambition today is route, so yeah. Thank you for not critting. <laughs> They're getting hit sounds, though. Okay. Yes, there was. In some ways, kind of yes, considering they keep coming back in a lot of games in the series. They actually haven't been in the series, surprisingly, for all that long. They were in... Uh, okay, don't go for Anna, please. 
Oh, you move too. And Anna flees there. How many things can hit her there? You have a bolt axe! Oh no, please tell me that... Okay, Anna doubles you. I don't think she kills you. Because that would be very unfortunate if everything just decided to attack her at once. But we have a massive congregation of bandit brothers up there. Which we need to prevent. Because no one wants a massive congregation of bandit brothers anywhere. Let me help you. So yeah, like I was saying, they first appeared in Fire Emblem 6 as Maggie and Rose, yes, really, uh, who had some very, very weird dialogue, like they always do, and showed up completely randomly in a desert chapter, uh, a few turns into a, into a chapter, and actually, about halfway through a chapter, you could, I think you could conceivably complete that one without ever seeing them, just like you can their appearance in this game, but, uh, they appeared right behind you with a ton of other enemies, and that was bad because that was one of the most evil desert chapters in the series. <laughs> By the way, uh, yeah, it is a desert fog of war chapter. There's a reason why people call that the worst desert chapter in the series, and that's really saying something because everyone hates uh, desert chapters. <laughs> that's a pretty good boast, Rochi. Let's see if you can back it up. <laughs> So like I was saying, that chapter is not only evil because it's a Desert Fog of War chapter, it's also evil because it has tons of Wyvern Riders, uh, who can of course ignore the sands and stuff, and you are forced to deploy an incredibly underleveled magic user with almost no defense, who's supposed to be the game's S character, but they end up mediocre even if you do take the trouble to train them, and um, you're forced to bring them, they have to survive to unlock a side quest chapter, you're on a time limit if you want to unlock said side quest chapter, because, yeah, you have to... It's unlocked by finishing that chapter with that character alive and within a time limit. So, overall, it's just... It's just a very annoying experience all around. What? <laughs> yeah, well, Rinka lampshades her own outfit. <laughs> Sympathy chills. Yeah, that's a pretty good dialogue in this one. Another one gone. I'm actually not sure if you can capture the bosses in this one. Of course, they're in my unit logbook already, so I don't need to worry too much about capturing them, but it'd be nice, quote unquote, to get a souvenir of this chapter besides Anna and. Yeah. Well, we technically can replay this one endlessly, so if I miss. Like, it's not too much of a big deal if I. Now that bolt axe is actually some... Well, I mean, you have terrible magic, but still. I have had bad experiences with bolt axes in this game, so... I do need to be careful. It's not like that one bolt axe boss in, um... In, in Path of Radiance who was completely... Ah! No boss point at all. Interesting. Yeah, a rescue or physics staff, I just realized would be very, very useful here. On my own. At least you guys have practically paper thin defense, so. Oh, that was bad. Because I need to cut my way through these guys quickly if I want to save Anna. I love Silas's pair up quotes in battle, though. Uh, careful, Anna. Yeah, that is worrying. Where are you going? Thank you! And you have a concoction. So at least this Anna isn't... You only have a few more uses left in that, though. So many long-range weapons, though. I don't know if we can actually talk to Anna with Kamui in this chapter or not. I don't think so, because given that she's a DLC character... Okay, let's try something. I need to cut my way through you guys very quickly. And Silas, you can't double them, which is a little annoying. Kamui! No, I... That was... 
Nope. It is Takumi. I don't know why I slipped up on the name there. And, Die already. and of course, he didn't need to. Uh, he didn't need to double because he killed him anyway. <laughs> Thank you for getting speed. Thank you for continuing to be awesome. Okay, at this point, the vast majority of them are away from Anna, but, uh... Okay, she only cycles when she gets hit, so if I can keep her down here and make sure that nothing gets to her, she should hopefully be safe. My main worry is her suddenly popping up in the middle of a gigantic horde of them, and that would be not good. Especially since the mission objective implies that you get a game over if you lose her. They have identical defense when paired up. That's kind of interesting. I don't know. Yeah, she is. Well, she does because she's an NPC, and thus suffers from the horrible affliction known as NPC itis. Symptoms of NPC itis include incredible stupidity, su suicidal tendencies, uh, and um, yeah, those two. All right. Uh, not time for a new objective. You are doing pretty well so far. But now these two are kind of in a bad place. Okay. At least Anna can only get hit by one of them. Or can she? Actually, now that I think about it, I think I remember that Travis... Did Travis Willingham voice one of these guys? Because if he did, then they're essentially wrong. <laughs> Except creepily incestuous. Oh yeah, that's the lo whole lock touch thing. That's I need to plug that door. Please don't go somewhere you'll regret. Okay, good. She's out of range entirely there, so she's safe for a little while. So I need to do some gap plugging. Thankfully, I have some pretty good... I wish I had a beast rune. I have some pretty good... I do not like that bolt axe, though. That's like the one thing here that's actually a threat to me. Now, Keaton has slightly more defense. I guess I'll put him here. You there, bolt axe man. Not wow. quite bolt axe shogun, but... Uh... <laughs> Okay then, Keaton is taking an interesting liking to this place. This is the last thing you'll see. Thank you! I'm so glad that was the last thing he saw, because otherwise I may have been in trouble with that Bolt Axe. Bolt Axe Shogun is apparently a meme from um, Japanese Path of Radiance fans about... Um, about uh, that particular boss in the game who is infamous for being... Well, yeah, really bad. Mainly, he has this skill that boosts his strength, skill, and speed, I think, when, he's def when his HP goes below half. Problem is, he's got a Bolt Axe, so that's a magical weapon, which isn't affected by the boost, and, um... He's, in general, a gigant... Oh, yeah, and, uh... People love making videos of him getting... So, in that chapter, the, the map gimmick is that, um... That he has these, uh, basically, uh, the enemy soldiers push rocks down the mountain to you. The rocks do a fixed amount of damage if they hit anyone. Uh, a lot of people, and that includes, like, friend or foe, a lot of people love to make videos about that boss getting killed by one of his own troops pushing a rock on him. So, basically, yeah, that guy is just the gigantic, um, what TV tropes would call memetic loser of, um, that game. You are obviously not a close range attacker. Maybe I could lure this guy into getting Takumi. I mean, another guy into getting Takumi. I don't want to speak too soon, but these guys are kind of weak for promoted enemies, so... Kind of glad I did this chapter now. Though it's mostly because they all have throwing weapons, which is gonna... which nerf their critical rates. If 
only that was the case back in FE6 with that really, really annoying, uh, yeah, that, ha that, um, Killer Axe Berserker boss in, like, Chapter 9 or something. Actually, I think it was 9. Okay, if Takumi is too awesome here, he may actually suffer from death by being too awesome, but, uh, he was thankfully not. So this axe is fairly powerful, and it looks pretty awesome too. I don't know how I can get one of those. It's either a random my castle. I yeah, that was painful. Yeah, I'm gonna need to heal. But yeah, that axe damages yourself. Interesting. Silas is doing quite a good job of tanking here, though. But, no, uh, no doubt due to his ridiculous revelation base stats. Okay. Now, Anna has not been hit yet, so she's not going to run. But she is going to this turn. Only one of them can hit her, though. And thankfully, it's a pathetic hand axe rather than a more powerful one. If she goes there, I'm probably safe. But if she goes right in the middle of all these enemies, there could be issues. I think that Berserker's axe is the only enemy that really... Yeah poses a threat here. So, if I swap over and see if I can finish you. Hopefully Rinka hits or we're in for a bad time. Serves you right. That Berserker Axe does look very cool though. That was... It's almost like pe being paired up with Keaton somehow reversed all of Rinka's early suckiness and is now making her really good. Yeah, funny how that happens. Uh, I want Nyx to get some more experience. Now, I need to be very careful because Nyx does not like getting hit by any kind of long-range weapon at all. Guess I could give some more history on the Bandit Twins. Second time they appeared was in Fire Emblem 6, where they were Paul What's and that? Jasmine. Yes, really. Uh, and they appeared in the desert chapter and um, were tormenting uh, Lord Pent, one of the most ridiculously overpowered pre promotes in the series. So that was obviously not a good idea. Okay, yeah, yeah, I just noticed he could do something really stupid and lunge over that wall and expose Nyx. Uh, yeah, that would be really bad. Let's just snipe this guy, though. Oh, I haven't actually seen a Boros quote in this chapter yet. I think it... I think she and Hinata also reference, um... Reference the Igloo incident, I think. Or at least something else to do with Igloos. Also, one kind of funny thing about this chapter is, uh, only regret here is, uh, doing this before I've recruited Nina, because apparently Nina's quote in this chapter shows that the Bandit Twins are- Oh, that's terrifying. I'm glad of that full guard meter. The Bandit Twins are the few people that Nina would never yaoi ship in a million years. For very obvious reasons. And in that line. So anyway, those two were... I think the main... Oh, thank you for not doing much damage. The main uh, problem with the Bandit Twins in Fire Emblem 7 is uh, killing them for their experience before Pent did it first. It was kind of funny. That was one of those chapters where there was an NPC and... Oh, crap. Well, this could miss... Oh, that... I didn't know that she get doubled by the boss. That would be... Yeah, that was unfortunate. Almost did this perfectly. Huh, for some reason, Anna didn't get hit at all. Anyway, uh, like an NPC, and you wanted to rescue them as fast as possible, but not because they were in danger. No, you wanted to rescue them as fast as possible so they didn't kill everything and steal all your experience because they were just that powerful. The developers were also kind of sadists and made it so that uh, there was a side quest in that chapter that you unlocked for... We will 
for gaining a certain amount of experience in that chapter. So you really wanted to make sure you took the pants out of the equation quickly. Yeah, now I desperately need to heal Keaton, and that could be a problem if... Uh... Oh, Okay, that could end badly, but uh, let's hope it doesn't. And it good. Enjoy the afterlife. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of dumb letting uh, letting Baruka get double team. In fact, I think even no Silence is not going to get. Oh, that's why he got. She got double because she was equipping that. Yeah, that's why. Oh well. So far, there aren't actually very many things left, and... Wait a minute, what do you got? You... Six... Four. But! Hoshiden, two range, starves, thank you so much for your existence. Thanks. I guess. <laughs> and he's still sitting there. And now, actually, no wait, Takumi just overtook her, so he is not getting his his competitive bonus, which is unfortunate. Okay, those two have a... Let's just get rid of your guard meter. I can actually kind of sympathize with Hay Hayato because, yeah, here in Australia, you very rarely see snow. You have to go to very specific. So I didn't know that was possible. I didn't know someone could critical when the enemy was in guard stance. That's interesting. I have never seen that before. That is, yeah, that's. I didn't expect that. Yeah, that is very interesting, actually. Really didn't expect that. I don't like your crit rate there. And it's going to be even worse if I use the silver... Oh yeah, your crit rate is terrifying. Uh, and I'm not using the javelin, as tempting as it is. So, don't get critical, please silence. You did. Yeah, I knew it. Not much I really could have done to avoid that, unfortunately. That just kind of happens when you're dealing with berserkers. Fluke criticals happen. So yeah, that's the kind of thing that would normally cause a reset, but uh, yeah. Can't really do that to preserve the blind. That was absurdly lucky. He could have died there too. Lesson. But yeah, that's the kind of thing that often happens with Berserker sometimes. I mean... What? There are ways around it, like... Um, <laughs> like, force them into using a hand axe, but in that case I couldn't do that. And I don't think even equipping a bronze weapon would have lowered the crit rate enough to negate it entirely, so yeah. That was unfortunate. Speaking of unfortunate, let's see. We only have the bosses left. And that is kind of scary. As is that critical rate. Rally luck is something else you could do to kind of stop that as well. So anyway, yeah. I'll protect you. But I guess another thing I could mention, the next time the band and twins appeared was in Radiant Dawn, where they were actually Tiger Lagoons. Rather than uh, rather than berserkers, which was actually really interesting. Uh, uh, they were called pain and agony, but they were hell and death in the Japanese version. So, lol, censorship maybe. I don't know. But uh, yeah, they were they barely did much, but they were there. They appeared very early on in the game, though. Um, I think that's probably although yeah, in Awakening you see them in quite an early side quest, but. Uh, they were actually, yeah, encountered very, very early in Radiant Dawn. Oh, 
So you can't double without, and you get brutally killed. I don't- I really don't want to take any more risks with the crit rate than I have to, so I'm gonna stay here. I'm kind of hoping to get a Boros quote, though. And you... give Nyx there. And meanwhile, you will hopefully try and sneak around. And find more crystals! Haven't really been keeping... <laughs> oh, there was no, no reference to the, um... The igloo there. I think it was Hidnasa, maybe? And Defense Seal, which is actually not going to help here, because I plan to attack him with Nyx, but... Let's get rid of you, to get rid of your pair-up bonuses. Kind of amazing these two weren't, uh... Paired up in their Paralog appearance. This is also going to be kind of weird, because I'm going to be showing these two in the Paralog... Uh, again, after this. I kind of want to see if, if Orochi can capture them, but it's really not all that important. Yeah, you just have a throwing club, so I can take you on no problem. Last one! And, uh, yeah, Ogoro's not going to be super powered by her disgust at their lack of fashion. But Elise is going to get a tiny bit of healing. It actually might be best to do this just in case something bad happens. Even though it probably won't, but... Oh well. ready for this. And thankfully, this is one of the few physical attacks that Nyx can survive. Or she dodged anyway. And gone! And Nyx is definitely well and truly caught up at this- Wow! More than caught up! Even though her stats are actually not that great looking for a level 19, she might have joined with bad base stats in this room. And that's it! Let's hope that Anna joins. Thanks. Yep, so- and... Um... Did you- I, I get the feeling that Anna said that line before in Awakening. No. Like, uh, your services. Well... Yeah, kind of. <laughs> it's sort of complicated. Huh? I'm Anna. And I'm pretty sure she's still voiced by Karen Strassen. Yeah, merchant posing as a thief. Sadly, there aren't any secret shops in this game. Well, maybe not sadly, because they're always kind of annoying. Oh, and I guess to complete the final thing, the next appearance of the Bandit Brothers after Radiant Dawn was Awakening. Oh. Mm -hmm. And doing awesome things, because from what I've heard, Anna has some of the highest growths in the game. Her, apparently her magic is kind of ridiculous for a physical unit, and apparently if you reclass her to Witch, she is incredibly broken. Please don't call him Mr. Blue Blood. That name has horrible flashbacks for anyone who's seen a certain show. <laughs> and we get Anna. Naturally, that only happens the first time you complete that chapter. So I might just actually quickly uh, skip ahead and show her stats for a bit. Reason why I'm not gonna uh, do a save here is because of, I guess I have another file I could always j I always save in a separate file just in case something goes wrong with the recording and I have to redo it. And now one of Anna's sisters is manning that gate. So let's check. She okay, so she is scaled as an NPC, but not as a playable character, which is really annoying. Um, seriously, they went to that trouble scaling her stats. They might as well have given uh, you to her with those. Given her to you those scaled stats, but anyway. Merchant who pops up unexpectedly. And at the moment she doesn't have any weapons on her, but uh, that's Anna. 
I'm not really sure if we're going to be using her. I, I don't know. I could. I guess, like, yeah, you, as you can see, her base magic is better than her base strength, so... So, yeah, with a Shining Bow or something like that, can you use a Shining Bow? Let me check. Yes, you can! Except that it has a few downsides, like minus 20 evasion. But... So let's see you now. I might maybe try her out for a chapter or two. Maybe just, um... Why are you imitating, imitating Takumi's poses? Maybe just to, just to see how how uh, how she works, basically. So with that, Anna on the run is over. Actually, let's see if we got any. Uh, we got that. We got uh, we got a few supports for next time. Despite these two both being completely destroyed. So yeah, I will see you next time. For um, I don't think we're actually going to be heading to chapter 16 and 17 yet. Might be one more diversion first. So see you then.